today in the crypto space we see the market still showing some strength bitcoin right around 77,000, ethereum hitting that 2900 level up approximately eight percent carrying the altcoins to much much higher green price action the rest of the crypto space as you can see are do is doing pretty go good we got ina ray mnt and many others reaching much higher levels in today's video i want to talk about the general market i want to use bitcoin as a leading indicator but more importantly i want to talk about one project one altcoin that has been doing really good after hitting its bottom and that project is called maple so you know what let's talk about the news let's analyze the charts and let's strategize to capitalize welcome to the channel my name is mike and let's get right into it guys if you're new to the channel welcome welcome on the channel we talk about cryptocurrency bitcoin ethereum and all the altcoins looking for opportunities whether we go up or down bearish or bullish it doesn't matter all we want to do is stay one step ahead of the market so that we can capitalize on any of the volatility and if you appreciate the strategy subscribe to the channel click the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos including the live streams at 8 p.m est where we talk about crypto news and price action guys if you have any projects you want me to cover here on the channel feel free to let me know in the comment section below you can hit me up on the socials the links are in the description better yet guys join the discord the discord is where it's at lots of good alpha trade setups fundamentals and learning material the best part is it's absolutely free all right guys let's begin let's see what's going on here with the market let's start with the market cap look at the market cap looking pretty good right around 2.7 trillion dollars we know that the overall high the previous high on market cap was 3 trillion we're almost there guys we're almost there in the last little bit we've been getting a bit of a dip in volume not a good look of course there's a bit of divergence there as the market cap is rising we do see the volume coming down generally speaking taking a bit of a break is healthy uh, we do know that we um, we're leading right into the weekend tomorrow's friday so maybe we can see a bit of a cool off for the weekend regardless the market cap is still on a grind to the upside the trend is your friend you can see at the tail end of this little dip here on volume we are slowly curling to the upside do we go up for another move do we go up for another impulse currently speaking bitcoin is looking pretty good let me quickly refresh this to make sure we got the latest you can see that bitcoin right now 20 uh 76 and a half thousand dollars guys and is doing a great uh, ethereum ethereum is the man of the match of course um up, up approximately eight percent doing really good a lot of people are thinking that the ethereum moment has arrived given the fact that it is showing strength and so is um, all the projects within the ethereum ecosystem so this is something to consider guys how are we going to treat this rotation the beginning of the rotation ethereum um you know a lot of people were really bearish the sentiment was all-time low it would be would have been the best time of course as per usual to uh, get exposed to the ethereum ecosystem and that's what i did in fact what i did was is i sold my ethereum and i bought phantom and that worked out absolutely amazing for me but in addition to that what i did is i took some of my ethereum bags and i kind of like or my ethereum bag some of the the capital that i sold off and i bought some ethereum based projects and for me that kept my exposure to ethereum in a very different way than just holding ethereum itself because we know that ethereum's market cap is large we know that the gains are not necessarily going to be there in the sense if we do a 3x we're doing great but ultimately if we get into micro caps or lower cap projects on ethereum and ethereum does well we know that we're going to be making those gains and exposure to volatility is what i want right now because as i've been saying in the last little while it's time to take risk it's risk on moment when else are you going to take risk we prepared for years for this opportunity and it's now is the time to actually take your shot so for me it's about rotating and staying one step ahead of the market and finding the narratives and finding the the projects that i want to get involved in and and definitely get that getting that exposure so Solana is another one. Solana ecosystem doing great. 5.3% to the upside, keeping up with Ethereum. Solana and Ethereum tag team match right now, bringing down that Bitcoin dominance. Guys, join me live tonight. We'll be talking about Bitcoin dominance and how that whole Bitcoin dominance is giving us a signal of an altcoin season. And of course, I'll be taking requests. If you have any projects you want me to take a look at as far as charts and look at price action and setups, feel free to join and make those requests and I'll put them in top priority. Let's keep on going down here. We do have a lot of price action to the upside. Cardano looking good. 
definitely a sleeping giant i feel like it's gonna uh, out it's gonna do well and exceed expectations in the next little while don't fade cardano because cardano is gonna come, potentially come out of nowhere um a, a equivalent Av avax avalanche doing great um in the last next little while we see upgrades coming along we have gaming doing well um and, and obviously bullish uh games coming out on avax and ecosystems like beam and all of this it, it definitely looking good so be prepared we have sui that has been showing sun tons and tons of strength now it's in a bit of a bull flag do we see a continuation to the upside in the next little while we could expect a bit of rotation into aptos we've seen that before uh, about a month ago or two weeks three weeks ago and uh, a rotation from sui is an aptos within the, the move narrative could definitely be the concept to watch out for near protocol in my opinion is still undervalued and waiting for the ai narrative to wake up okay so guys we're trying to stay in tune with narrative trying to stay in tune with market cap we're trying to stay tuned in tune with ecosystem and you got to pick your champions you got to pick your champions my champions were picked i already i already have them very clear i'm getting into phantom solana and of course sui those three are my champions now within those champions i am getting into the ecosystem projects as well DeFi, gaming whatever it is even a few meme coins all good i want to have exposure through the ecosystem because ultimately i'm bullish on those ecosystems now it doesn't mean that i don't have any other moonshots i do i do have other moonshots you know micro caps i have a bit of caspa i do have those those opportunities still readily available my, my champions are locked and loaded that's what i mean those are my focus every other project that is in my portfolio i'm ready to de-risk as soon as possible rotate buy dips and trade but those champions those are ones that i'm holding till the top of the bull run because i believe they're going to be really good gainers if we keep on going down we still see a lot of strength in a lot of projects okay mnt doing great up 18 percent celestia celestia might be waking up and doing some great moves to the upside after you know a significant dip in the last little bit maybe it's a moment to take risk maybe it's time to start you know getting some exposure we saw injective do pretty good in the last little bit so we're seeing a lot of good projects even phantom guys the sonic upgrade is going to be absolutely bullish for phantom i'm expecting that to be an amazing event an amazing opportunity for phantom to compete head to head with solana okay this is an upper opportunity could be that phantom does absorb a bit of market cap with those newer faster more shinier projects that we have been talking about in the last little while okay Thor chain room i th think that it's still undervalued and there are many projects here that are still undervalued now i'm glad that i bought radium because radium has been killing and i chose radium over jupiter nothing really wrong with jupiter but radium had the clarity that i needed in order to be getting in and i got in and i'm happy i did um our weave i think it's undervalued nice v recovery on our weave it's got back into structure of that descending wedge that we've analyzed in the past i built my margin position around our weave and now i'm expecting a nice recovery and potentially a breakout out of that descending wedge guys bullish bullish bu bullish i'm bullish on our weave i'm bullish on the on the price action i'm bullish on the tech all that good stuff so i'm expecting some good good price action there what do we do about algorand right what do we do about algorand that's still hanging out there still hanging out there doing nothing i don't know guys it's one of those projects that either it's going to wake up or it isn't i'm not willing to take chances ultimately i'm looking into other opportunities and the question is is beam the opportunity guys to, um, on sunday i'm going to be releasing a deep dive i'm going to be releasing a deep dive i do many deep dives I, I i release one every sunday so make sure that you subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out on that update but i'm going to be releasing a deep dive where i look into all the fundamentals guys it was requested by you guys you guys voted on it so stay tuned uh, i think it's interesting there are some things that i i'm still trying to iron out but i think it's good don't miss out on that one guys the market is looking good at the end of the day we need to be prepared the market is changing its sentiment okay we're no longer in bear mode we're no longer in sideways accumulation mode we starting to see signs that we're getting ready for a real bull run with an altcoin season in the works all right guys i know you're here to talk about charts so let's begin let's begin looking at bitcoin what's going on with bitcoin bitcoin is a beast it's pushing up it's got it got a little bit of a rejection in the last little bit but nothing major and right around the 1.27 1.618 1 guys let's take a look at this in a little bit more detail ultimately bitcoin has been showing tons of strength of course it went up for the higher high and a lot of us are thinking could bitcoin come down for a dip anything is possible guys prepare prepare psychologically economically prepare for a dip having dry powder on the side prepare to buy and accumulate at lower ranges is what makes a trade 
it are successful because if you if it does come down and you're not ready to react then what happens is um basically um you, you basically miss out on opportunities having cash on the side allows you to deploy that dry powder ready to go for, to take advantage ultimately when we do see confluent levels like the golden pocket the 1.27 get hit those are zones of which we might expect a bit of profit taking so that's what i'm keeping an eye on ultimately we're gonna have to wait for structure we can see that we do see a bit of a structure here it's an upward sloping type of structure if we get on the one hour and get rid of the fibonacci's we might see this a little bit better it's an upwards type of channel you know and i'm wondering if we've seen signs of divergence very little but it's there you can see the four hour diverging yeah higher highs on the price action you know topping off on the momentum that's class c bearish divergence usually it's a very weak sign of divergence could we come down a little bit go sideways here before we continue continue to the upside that is very very possible it's also very possible that we get a bit of a dip okay so this is the thing here guys we got to get used to buying into lower lower frame lower time frame structures and at the same time using bitcoin as a leading indicator okay we also see a bit of divergence here it could get invalidated but we're getting our early signs of bitcoin potentially cooling off for a little bit while um you know maybe all coins catch up or maybe while you know people take profit and then wait for that continuation to the upside also tomorrow's friday the weekend tends to want to be a little bit low volume so be careful there um what else guys let's jump right into it the project for today maple what's going on with maple maple broke out guys just keep in mind that you know i've been covering maple quite a bit i'm gonna get on the weekly here and consolidate some of this so that we can see this a little bit better guys maple broke out very very bullishly so you can see that i covered maple significantly in the past okay i covered i covered it uh, the last time i covered it was right here about three months ago but i covered it in, in, in many more videos and ultimately uh we have to be prepared you can see i prepare you guys to stay one step ahead of the market with deep dives and all kinds of setups so feel free to join and check this all out but you know ultimately maple three months ago when i released that video was right around this level and prior to that i did release other videos suggesting accumulation and you can see that the ta respected this level and this is where you take full advantage of risk to reward opportunities if you would have got in here and prepared for a potential dip through the volume gap that's totally fine you would have got some exposure and now you would have been up now what does it look like let's just see what it looks like it looks like 171 percent to the upside which is healthy number one number two it looks like opportunity has passed and i hate to be the bearer of bad news but right now is not the greatest time to be buying in okay it's not at all in fact this is time to consider de-risking because we're, we're in an expansion a really good expansion for that matter and you can see as these three expansions did happen and if you look at them look at this green candle look at this green candle now look at this green candle this candle is a lot smaller than the previous and we're actually making higher highs okay so this is very very uh, interesting now you can see that the momentum could potentially get more overbought here above the 70 percent mark I, by the way guys if you want to know more about this indicator i do have a link in the description go check it out this indicator has been doing very well for me and you can see the green dot confirming yes let's get going and then all of a sudden a nice rounded bottom at support at, uh, at, uh, at the chop zone rounding off here and then all of a sudden going for another opportunity to overbought conditions look at the weekly looking really good ema is facing up green histogram bars to the upside the weekly is looking bullish however guys you're buying into a green lightsaber that's flying which means that the train has left the station you run the risk of being exit liquidity on the short term so wait for the structure you can see that the daily is overbought once again you can see that the emas are still facing up with green histogram bars here on the trend in the bullish control zone that's a good thing i get it it's looking good you're just buying very hot uh places look at all the volume it's very hot very very aggressive let's get on to the four hour you can see look how extended this is very extended very overbought very could be a very frothy scenario and uh and the last four hour candle was an indecision candle uh you know uh, this type of candle doesn't look very good as a top so what i would say here is this maple at the end of the day could be looking for some sideways a structure that could make you get into a bullish bullish setup what i would say is that we need to start getting used to looking for bull flags okay guys impulsive moves like this and in bull runs a lot of the times with some sort of flag structure okay giving us an opportunity to put a stop loss underneath the structure and get that continuation to the upside at this current moment we do not know if that's going to be the case and that's the risk you take so back to that concept of risk management where do we put a stop loss in this price action guys 
it's very dangerous right now getting into maple so this video is basically showing you when you should have taken risk risk on moments and risk off moments in fact defensive moments where you should be protecting your gains right and this is that moment because the stop loss can be put here really bad and down here really bad this measure if you get into a trade right now and you start putting a stop loss here 50 percent stop loss that's a 50 percent loss that's crazy and if you start coming down here and putting it here you're looking at a 70 80 percent loss that's insanity that's not something that a trader should you know ever want to endure however guys if we do get a structure here on maple from a risk to reward ratio opportunity if we start flagging out here on the lower time frames you can get in with the stop loss within the structure and anticipate maybe a continuation continuation to the upside in the meantime what we have to anticipate is that one at any moment we could be hunting for exit liquidity we could get that rejection and come back down to the next level of support which begins right around 20 dollars, in my opinion right around here we can come right back down now again we are in a bullish trend the sentiment has changed so what we got to do is anticipate that we could be getting those bull flags for continuations now i'm going to quickly zoom out here because guys all of this talk all of this doesn't mean much if you don't zoom out because the, the the reality is the preparation that we've been enduring here by buying these bottoms is in preparation for a really bullish thing which is the empty volume gap above this is the major opportunity here, here guys look at the volume profile above uh, 25 dollars, we basically reduce the amount of volume the amount of resistance that this has for the price to actually get to about 49 dollars okay and even at 49 dollars, you gotta admit guys there's not even that much volume here and the psychological top is right right here we could definitely jitter along the way slow grind to the upside and definitely make our way to all-time highs and even price discovery on maple of course those those conditions are too too good to be true but i'm just trying to say here guys is that the real opportunity to take risk down here was for this for this moment that we're in at the current moment so i'm hoping that we continue i'm hoping that we can get an entry for those of you that are on the sidelines waiting for entries waiting for a bull flag here i'm hoping that we get that and if we don't guys don't become exit liquidity be safe risk toward ratios if you don't know where you're going to be putting a stop loss to protect yourself better move on to something else and find a setup where you can get in with the best uh, risk toward ratio from a position of strength guys if i've offered you any value in this video do the channel a massive favor slap the like button it does really help out with the algorithm if you want to follow me on the socials the links are in the description below feel free to join the discord guys the discord is where it's at lots of good alpha trade setups fundamentals and learning material the best part is it's absolutely free i'm going to be live tonight at 8 p.m est taking requests and talking about crypto news and price action take care guys have a good one and don't forget buy the dip